Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lynn and I am Pretty Papercraft 67. And today we're going to work on Roxy's weekly challenge, uh, week number six, and it is um, um, document holders. So I made one in advance just to see what it would look like. And I think they are really a little, a clever little idea and really nice to put inside journals or to give as happy mail, part of an ephemera bundle. Um, so this one, I've just put some little tickets and, and things to finish it and I've just put a label here. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have anything in the way of um, original ephemera or, or book page much, book pages much really. So I've just gone through my stash and I've, just put some, um, yeah, just some pretty little little pages through here, some music paper. I've got this um, printable that's a marriage certificate, um, an Edith Holden page in there, and then I have another um, botanical book that um, is all based around Brisbane, so I've popped one of those in there, and then just a um, invoice, a printable invoice page there. So. I just really love this idea, so I thought we will get in and get this done. Um, because I've used a lot of book page in mine, mine is a little bit thick, so I've held it closed with a paper clip, and it keeps it all nice and snug. Um, so yeah, I've just gone through, um, I've pulled out a couple of my printables, and um, I have printed them on both sides. Um, yeah, just pick some patterns. And um, yeah, so I'll just do a couple tonight. I really like this one, so I think I might do this one and I might do that one because I love the colors in this. So really easy. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people are watching and crafting along with Rachel from Roxy Creations in, in this weekly challenge. Um, I know there are a lot of crafters that are joining in in this challenge, so it's it's really nice to um, go ahead and watch other people's interpretations on the same project. So, so with mine, I've just uh, this this little bottom flap here that the um, the brads go into this section here. I've just kind of roughly measured that at about an inch, and I'm just going to fold up with my bone folder just just like that kind of thing and then I'm just going to fold that in place and give that a bit of a burnish and then I'm just going to do the same with this one here um, yeah and I just want to do it from the bottom so because that's a directional print so yeah I just want to keep the text on the top when it folds oh geez I'm not making a good job of that Anyway, it'll all work out in the wash. So yeah, so just fold up that bottom. And then I've gone through and I've just um, picked out some some bits and pieces of papers and, and things that I have. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to sort of pick some papers to go into these. And I'm sort of picking five pieces for each holder. So let's go through and see what I've got here and what will suit this. Um, yeah, I like a bit of music paper in there. Oh, that's pretty too. I might just leave that one out. Oh, mum, mum, mum. That's nice too. Oh no, I really like this photograph, so that's a definite. Um, and I've got some bigger pages over here, so I thought I'd put one of these in each as well, because they're really lovely. So just um, excuse the confusion at the moment. And then yeah, I thought I'll put in one of these in each because they're really pretty. I might just need to cut them down a little bit just to suit the size. So, 
I'm going to put in those. And then I've got, I've got these, oh, there's an Edith Holden page. We'll put that in that one. Uh, and then I've got these, which I think are really lovely. Um, uh, uh, they're a graphics fairy, I believe. These family records, they're a printable family records and there's marriage certificate, I think, if I've got some of these still printed out. And a piece of music paper. Uh, marriage and family, yeah. So I'm just going to put one of those in each. And now I'm just going to see, I'll tear down the sides of these. Get rid of that excess white paper. Um, I reckon that these would actually look really nice as um, an insert into a flip-flop journal. One of those journals that's sort of an, aff in a, an affinity book that they just keep going from um, front to back, front to back. So, um, yeah, I might, I might challenge myself to try and do that. I've done flip-flop journals and I absolutely love them. So I think one of those right in the centre could look really nice with um, some documents and so forth inside. Okay, so that's that. So let's just count up what we have here. So this is our first one. I'm going to put this, I might need to cut, oh no, that fits really well, isn't that pretty? So we've got one of those, we've got some music paper, we've got an Edith Holden page, so that's three, and then we've got the marriage certificate, that's four, I'll put the music paper in front of that. That's four and that's five, and I love this photo. Hey, couldn't that look cool if we attached that to the marriage certificate? Oh, that could be really nice. Yeah, that could be really nice. Alright, so there's our first bunch there. And then our second one. I'll just bring in the second one. And we've got violets. Violets at the back. And so that's one two, three, four, and one is five. I like that. They're, they're nice. And I've kept the edges just really rough. So I'm just going to um, grab my stapler because I just really like the idea of having those two stuck together on there. I'll make it look like that's their wedding day. That's really nice. All right, so it really is very simple and it comes together really quickly. No glue, which I love, no glue to get all messy with. So I've got some gold brads and um, these are bigger ones. So I want two brads for each. One, two, three, four. And my hole punch. Okay, so really it's as simple as, and if you're following along you already know how simple it is, just kind of, um, yeah, level up your pages kind of thing, like that, and then I've got a paper clip, so I'm just going to paper clip the bottom, and make that a little bit more level. There, and then the same on this one. Another clip there. And I'm just gonna again level these up. Actually, I think I want 
a big, bigger piece of music paper in there. That's too big. I'm just going to fold this one down in half. It's just a little bit taller than that one that I've already got in there. Take that one out. And then that and that. I love her. That lady there, she reminds me of my aunt, of my great aunt. Mm. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I've got to cover your face up. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to paper clip by or clip it. Okay, and then I'm just going to punch some holes into this bottom section here, and I'm going to use the bigger one. That's the small one. And I'm just going to eyeball it about there. And then I kind of want to keep it as level as I can. I'm not real good at this leveling up business. Like that. And then do the same with this one here. About there. And again, the same on the other side. About there. And then stick our brads through. So the, the brad goes from there into there. That way. Because the first when I put it together the first time, I um, put it the other way and then I got a bit lost for a minute. Couldn't work out how, how to fold it. <laughs> Oh, I don't have much luck with these brads. Okay, so that's that. And um, as Roxy said, as Rachel, sorry, said on her video, um, you could even tie some string through these holes. You don't actually need brads, but I've got them. So, and I just like that gold, that gold look. Okay. So there we go, there's our brads in place. And take those clips off. Now, the folding part. So I folded, either way really, you can go top to bottom this way and then that will come over like that. So I'm just gonna line up my edges, um, the, the two printable edges, and I, it is quite thick. I've got quite a lot of um, paper there, and I can't find my bone folder. I've not, oh, here it is. And I'm just gonna really give that a nice tight burnish. And then I'm gonna bring this one back over to the front like that, and just kind of line that up again with the edges. And then give that a really good burnish. So that's number one. Um, I'm just gonna put paper weight on that. And then number two, the same thing. So I'm going to turn it up this edge here. Like that and give it a good burnish. And then turn it this way. How cool is that? And how quick does that come together? There you go, look at that three already now I'm just going to do a little bit of um, just a little bit of embellishing on them and I've just pulled a few bits and pieces here of things that might be nice to use just like this this little ticket came from Sue as a thank you gift and um, when I purchased from her store and, and I've just got some of these tiny little swing tags that I've just um, yeah, coffee dyed, ink dyed, and so I just think they just add something, just a little extra. So put my paper clip back in there. So with these two, oh, there's another paper clip, just to hold that down. And I don't have another one here, so you're just going to have to sit. So I'm thinking I've carried this this with me for a very long time, and I think it's time to use it. So I've got that one. I've also got this ticket 
here from uh, another uh, little ticket from Sue um, in a thank you gift. But Sue sells that stamp in her store. So if you're interested, Paper Inspirations, you can buy those stamps at Sue's store. I made these little embellishments. Um, I just had some uh, numbers uh, that I cut out and then uh, these little, little brass, I don't know if you can see that, little brass hangings. So they, they're nice too, you could put something like that on there. And this one needs just something else. Well, there's another, oh, I don't want two numbers. Um, yeah, we could just put another little, another little tag on there, something or other. So you might just um, get those organised. Um, so I want to put a bit of ink around. And I'm really enjoying these challenges because, um, I don't know, just of late I'm feeling a little burnt out and this way I'm creating and I'm creating bulk and I'm not actually having to rack my brains for ideas. So not that I believe Rachel would watch or could watch because I'm one of many. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you do watch, Rachel, thank you so much for providing the opportunity and with this one I'm just going to back it onto something a little sturdier um, I've just got some coffee stain paper here just a bit of glue just to, because I'm going to punch a hole in it and so forth. I just want it a little sturdier. <coughs> Please excuse me, I've got a tickle in my throat. Put a bit of ink on the back. Now I won't um, at the moment, but usually my machine's just not handy. So, but I would like to sort of sew around these tickets and things. But yeah, we can. I can come back and do that later. So I'm just going to grab some string. And I'm just going to pull it out, and I'm going to punch a little hole in this one here, about there, and I'm going to thread this one through, and then I want to thread this one through this tiny hole, I'm just going to just loosen off this brad for a minute and then I just want to grab this and just wrap it wrap it around underneath that head and then push it back down and secure it back together like that keep it there nice and tight so there you go there's one with a little ticket and uh, yeah that's that's cute if I had a paper clip handy, that would be even better, but I don't. And then this one here, I'm just going to um, put a little stamp on that one.
and I'm going to use red. I love this fired brick. And I'm just going to put filed down on the bottom of that one. Sorry. And again, I'm going to grab some string, pop it through these little holes. off this brad and just wrap that around underneath it and then tighten it back up okay and there you have it how cool are they I love them they certainly are a nice idea, not something that I had thought of doing. And um, yeah, they'll come in handy, they really will. So let's have a look. Oh, isn't that lovely? And that's all nice together. And you've got some. The beauty of this is you can take these pages out and use them in journals, you can use them for ephemera or just keep them all together like they are and it's just a lovely way of um, storing things in there oh I love it and then this is we did this one as well so you've got your little page the music paper marriage certificate and then Edith Holden page and another botanical page oh I think they're really great love 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 it so there you go that's uh, the challenge for this week Roxy's weekly challenge um, if um, document holders document holders but there you go Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, yeah, um, anyone else that's following in the challenge, leave a comment below so that I can shoot over and um, have a look at what you've done. Uh, I know Seven Plaza is doing the challenge and Enchanted Dreams 71 is doing the challenge. Sue at Paper Inspirations and Sue at Crafting by the River. That's just some that I know. Um, I'm sure there's a million more. Gail Agnostinelli is doing the challenge. Um, yeah, there's just everybody's doing the challenge. But I think it's great because it gives us the opportunity opportunity to create in bulk and do some different things. Like I, this is not something that I would have ever even thought about doing. So, yeah, I love it. All right. Thanks so much for being here tonight. And, um, yeah, take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.